motor came from. Well, it's upside down to you. But it came from heatseekfactory.com. I got some water and I got an all-in-one. Oh, I mentioned it came from heatseek.com because they had frozen CPU tape. I thought that was interesting. Frozen CPU tape. Anyway, I got an all-in-one to replace the one I got. And this one has more than the other one did. So let's remove the plastic, open it, and then I'll talk about what it is. Because when you see an open box, open boxing video, you want to see them open the box, and then they can talk about whatever they want to talk about. Set mode for stuff over here. Three USBs, FireWire, eSATA, and then a mic in and out. Alright. Um, it's got all your plug ups in the back. It's got your fan, another fan, something else. And it's got temperature sensors as well. We'll get into that. Comes with temperature sensors, four of them. Some temperature paste, it's got some stickers. <clears throat> They got a fan speed controller, another USB cable, one, two, there's three fan speed controllers, um, an adapter, SATA, IDE, and audio. Everything that comes with the all-in-one. I'll install and we'll talk more about it later. All right, I'm gonna try and show you everything you need to know about this product. It's pretty simple. All right, first, we'll fire it up. It's on. Now, when it's on, there's yeah, there's two things you need to know. One you'll have a caution thing go off I'm trying to turn the volume down finally alright so there's four buttons there's a reset button, a mode button, a negative, and a positive button. From the get-go, it's going to show one of your temperatures, and it's going to scroll through the three fans, whatever fans you have hooked up. Now, the cautions are going to go off if your temperature is too high, wherever you have it set, or if a fan's too low, which there's one that's too low at the moment. So let's see if we can... Oh, that's right, I have it set on that. Okay, let me show you. Oh, 
okay let me show you now you press reset it goes from celsius to fahrenheit nothing big there but if you press and hold reset it goes into a whole setup thing which the lowest the fan sensor or the um the alarm will go off if a fan's below 500 and then you press mode to go in between which ones you can set the temperature however low and high you want it same with that same with that same with that same with that also it goes on to an auto mode which I have it set now you press and hold it the same amount of time it goes back into the regular setting mode goes in between each temperature the set of three one two three one two three boom you're done I'm gonna try and set my fans to go very fast Oh no, it's the alarm, it's the alarm. Yeah. And boom. You can increase the fan speed when it's on manual mode. Increase number two, and increase number three. And it's just that easy. Now the caution has stopped. Now all my fans are going faster. They were selling automatic. I don't know why. I don't know why automatic would automatically do less than your alarm, which is kind of a, annoying. So now my fans are going about 840. This is. Yeah, that's strange. You set it for auto and then it goes below. That's annoying. So, don't set it for auto. There. Don't set it for auto. Because you're just asking for trouble. There. Yeah, so setting for auto is just asking for trouble. Unless your fans normally go really fast. Alright, so I guess we learned something there. Alright, other than that, there's not much else to say. If you got any more questions on this product, just let me know. I'll I'll try and answer it. And any other products that I got, you know, just ask. Other than that, peace.